What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a gaming mouse from CM Storm. It is their Havoc and it is designed for precision gaming. So let's just go ahead and take a look. As we take a look at the packaging here, we can see that we have a photo of the actual mouse here right on the front lets us know that it is the Havoc and the DPI switch is between eight or between 100 and 8200 DPI. On the back it goes over some of the main specifications here which we can see really close right there. Of course we'll have all that in our review and then it actually opens up here so you know if you're at the store or something like that again you can get a lot more information over here this goes over some of the main features and then you can actually get a good look at the mouse before you go ahead and buy it I know you guys just want me to get inside so that's what I'm gonna do here go ahead and carefully cut these and get inside and see what we have here And taking it all out should just come out just like that and we'll go over some of our accessories and the things that we have so we have a little warranty guide here and a little havoc looks like this is just a feature guide and limited warranty so no real instructions right there at least and we should take out the mouse it's interesting that there's no drivers or software that actually comes with this um, in the packaging, unless I'm missing it. it yeah, you know, it doesn't come with anything. So you'll have to download the drivers, which I kind of like and I kind of don't like. Some people, you know, may not have internet connection right available still. I know it kind of sounds weird, but it does happen. Um, I would have liked to seen drivers. Now this should just go plug and play, work without the drivers. Now to do different customizations and things like that, you will need the driver software. Now, Taking a look at the mouse here, as you can see right here, um, again, a nice rubber coating on it. Um, not completely rubber, but a nice coating. So when you are gaming, your hand's not gonna fall off or something like this. Um, it has a nice feel to it. It is a little bit bigger towards the end, towards the palm of my hand here. So this part right here at the back is actually bigger. So you have that nice cloth style grip right here on it. Um, we'll take a look at the sides first. So we'll go to the main side right here and this actually has a rubberized coating right here this is actually a piece of rubber with like little divots in it um, so again when you are gaming and everything like that you'll be able to hold on nice and tight you're not going to slip and hit a wrong button or something like that so we have three buttons on this side one two and three right there and then we'll go to the opposite side. The opposite side does not have that extra grip on it. It's actually, the rubberized part is actually not on there as well. It's actually just a plain piece of plastic right here on that side. Now we'll look at the main part of the mouse and we have two arm, arm run switches right here. Of course, we know those to be very quality and they do last a very long time. So you shouldn't have to worry about this mouse actually breaking or something like that. You have a scroll wheel right here and it is rubberized on the top again to give you that good feel and so you don't slip off. Of course, when you're gaming, that is very important. We have an up and down buttons right here. Um, I believe those are for, are for the DPI switch, which of course you can change all of these directly in the software. And we do have a DPI indication LEDs right here. So these will light up and let you know what DPI level you are on, which of course, again, very important. You can do that all in game so you don't have to get out of your game and switch your DPI settings. You can do that on the fly. Um, and this lets you know which DPI settings you are on. We'll give you a front look just to see how those, um, switches are designed here or how the buttons here look from the front and on the back we don't have any weights or anything like that we do have three large very large mouse feet um, largest I've seen on a mouse really you can see how big they are two on the side and one here on the bottom and of course we have our laser sensor here this is an Avago 9800 um, laser sensor which will give you DPI settings again from 100 all the way up to 8200 dpi right on there and of course our cable of course we our usb connection is gold plated right there as you can see and a nice braided cable which means it's not going to break a rip you know or fray really at least not for a very long time so you really 
don't have to worry about that. Um, very excited to test this mouse out. It seems like it's gonna be great. So this has been our quick unboxing and overview of the CM Storm Havoc mouse. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.